Production. attempt to do my motor mounts today. It's something that I badly needed on this car. Um, after the last drift event, I could tell that I'm losing a lot of power, A, because the motor's shaking so much, and B, it's just tearing it up. With the welded diff and the trans all solid, they have solid mounts, they're pushing so much pressure on the engine, the engine is just can't handle it. So um, I really need to do them. It was something that I wanted to do since I bought the car because I know the motor shakes. Um, it's just getting progressively worse and I really need to do it. So, picked up a while back <clears throat> these Circuit Sport ones from Josh. Gonna throw them on and hopefully it won't shake anymore because it's really annoying trying to do like turns and with the weld diff just everything's clunking so hard because the motor's shifting forward and back so much. So, gonna attempt to do that today, gonna keep this video as short as possible so that it's like most direct and like the easiest way to do the motor mount and then I'll save the updates for then. Um, hopefully we can get it done because you guys know how our how our driveway is. It's not exactly straight so um, hopefully this doesn't fall on me but let's get to it. Alright now that I've got the car in the air securely I've got it on two jack stands and I have it on these wheels just in case the jack stands fail and I also have it on the jack just in case those all fail so um, should be safe now uh, once a car has fallen on you once you don't want to take that chance ever again so made sure to secure it as best as possible on this damn hill um, gave the car a shake and it seems solid didn't wiggle didn't seem sketch you can see just how uneven our jack stands are. And you guys would be like, oh, you shouldn't get under there. Look how sketchy that is. But make sure you it's safe. So it looks like to get to these motor mounts, it's going to be a tight fit all the way around. Thankfully, on this side, I've removed my IV lines. So when I did the DC Sports header, you can check out that video. But if you have all that stuff, all that emission stuff right here, it's going to be a pain in the ass for you. Um, but thankfully I have a little bit of clearance on this side. There's the two top bolts, which is the first thing I'm going to take off. Um, this side is a little more tricky because you have the oil filter in the way and the harness. But I think it'll be doable. Let's see if I can get the camera there. So there's the top bolt. There's the bottom bolt. And so with the motor mounts, you're going to want to do these one side at a time. So I am starting with the driver's side just because I think it'll be a little bit easier just because there's more space but we'll see because on the bottom I know my offset rack spacer is kind of in the way and I think the previous owner tried to replace them and stripped one of the bolts so we'll see but thankfully I bought the extractor tools so we should be Gucci if that's the case alright so here's where I'm at here is the bottom one as you guys can see it's completely stripped and so I've been trying to fight this one to come out but it's been no go so I'm just gonna dremel it off because it's too much of a pain in the ass and I don't want to deal with it anymore so um, my extractor tools didn't help it's just way too stripped from the previous owner so we're just gonna cut it off and then we'll get back to this install all right hours later it is finally cut through so now I should just be able to jack up the car and pull the, this side out and then I can do the other side and be done with my day. First though I gotta unbolt the trans cross member just so I give myself a little bit more playroom and then if I need even more I'll uh, loosen these and just loosen them not take them out because if you take them out completely the engine will just drop on you but if you just loosen them um, it'll give you a little bit more clearance so we'll see. Okay, so got the trans cross member off. You don't have to take this piece off completely. You can just have it attached to the transmission. I decided to take mine off because my bolts were a little bit fucked, so I had to take them out and redo them, but that's all squared away now. Jack the car up with the jack stand, and make sure you put a piece of wood so you don't puncture your oil pan. You can either jack up from your oil pan, or you can jack up where the engine meets the transmission. I did it from the oil pan just to get a little bit more clearance. But here is the engine mount. 
And so I just had to like wiggle it to get it out. It was a pain in the ass. Mine was slight bit easier just because if you look at this, that's in multiple pieces. That is supposed to be attached to this. You're not supposed to have three piece engine mount right now. This is literally ripped at both ends and on the top. No wonder my motor shook so much. This was completely fucked. And I don't know if that's supposed to be attached to that, but there's definitely supposed to be attachments on the inside of this. Right there, right here, and also on that end. So, good luck to you guys. I had a little bit of a hard time pulling it out, but um, like I said, mine was a slight bit easier just because it was in three pieces. Where this is supposed to be one solid piece, so it's a little bit more difficult to get out. But yeah, that's that's garbage. That's shit. So now we get to put this nice poly one in, and hopefully I shouldn't have any more vibrations. Should have a lot more power, and we'll be cool. And obviously, when I say a lot more power, I'm not expecting this to add like horsepower gains or anything. But obviously, we're gonna put the power down because the motor's not vibrating at all the way. It's gonna actually be sent to the transmission, sent to the drive shaft, sent to the diff, and sent to the wheels instead of just vibrating and not going anywhere. So one motor mount is officially done. It's tightened up and good to go. I already took off the top two bolts. Now. I'm trying to work on the bottom one, however, it doesn't seem to want to come out. I don't know what you guys recommend, because when I put a 14 on here, it basically hits right here. Like I have all the room in the world, like there's so much more room on this side that I can put a 14, I can put a wrench, whatever, but no matter what, it still hits this frame, and... Cool car, man. Thanks! <laughs> no matter what, it hits the frame, and that will just end up stripping it. So, I don't know what to do. Alright, this episode started out as a how-to DIY <laughs> engine mounts, and it's just been a complete mess. My engine mounts are completely fucked, and I am completely over it. So, yeah. Here is the driver's side, which you guys saw. Here is the passenger side. Not any better. Definitely not supposed to be two-piece. Supposed to be all together. And yeah, that's, that's awesome. And I am literally over it. Cars are stupid. And so it's taken me, let's see, what time is it? It is now 4.23. I started at like 10 a.m., maybe later, but it's taken me all day. This should have been like an hour, two hours tops kind of job, and it's literally taken me all day. So, unfortunately, it's not a how-to, it's more of a cars are fucking stupid, but um, yeah. I will throw the passenger side one in, and we'll go for a test drive. Hopefully it's all Gucci. Make sure you check your motor mounts because they could just be just as shitty as mine. Completely worn out and not usable. These these are garbage. I can't believe I was driving for this long on these. These are shit. I took the car for a test drive after installing the motor mounts and I am super satisfied with them. They took just about all day. I ended up having to cut out both of the OEM motor mounts because the bolts were just seized. It was just a shit show. So. That's what took the longest, but cleaned out both of them and installed the new ones. Makes a world of difference. The car actually has usable power now, and it's not just getting lost. The car shakes like crazy, because all the, all the power from the motor is just getting transferred to the body. So I'll start it up right now and show you. Compared to when I first started this video. So I don't know if you guys can hear that on camera, but everything is just rattling. Everything's just shaking. No movement at all though. 
super solid. So I'm super satisfied with that outcome. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I know this video is kind of out there. I tried to do like a proper DIY, but it, I was just getting frustrated because the car was being stupid. Like I said, I had to cut out both motor mounts, so that was just a pain in the ass to have to do. Went through about six or so um, Dremel disc, specifically metal cutting Dremel disc too. So whatever, got it done. Now got to clean up, wash my face, and go from there. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Right. It's <laughs>